Hi everyone, I'm down by the river at the site of a former wharf. This wharf has been returning back to nature for about 50 or 60 years. It's really in a bad state as you can see in the background there. Yeah, um, my think thinking was that where you find ships, you find people, and where you find people, you find things dropped. So I've come here with the metal detector and I'm going to go over the area with a fine tooth comb. Now I should point out as well, this morning I went to the dentist and I had some work done on a molar and half my face feels as if it's frozen and so I feel as if I'm slurring my words. If I do, I apologise, but in the meantime, let's look for something good and as soon as I do find something, I'll let you know. This is the remains of the old wharf and this is my first find so far, a lump of lead. Well, I've just found something round, but it's also something worthless. This gave off a high signal. Um, I was going to say it's a square screw, but I don't think that's quite correct. Hmm. This is one of the supports for the wharf, and after a hundred years you can still see the rings in the wood. I think that's quite cool. Well, I found this on the surface and I thought it's just a bit of scrap. But when I turned it around, I can see some numbers embossed in it. Something 2480, I think. I'm trying to read it backwards. I wonder what that was. I'm just digging a hole and I spotted that and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be good if that was a ring? But based on my luck, that will not be a ring. And as it turns out, it's not a ring as we know it. This gave a big signal, but all it is is a big disappointment. That was a two for one hole, an iron bolt and a piece of lead. That's a nice strong signal, that one. And there is the mystery item. I've found one of these before and I thought it was like a Dalek's head. But, um, yeah. Very strong find that. And if it's broken in half as well, look at that. This looks like just a piece of lead, but it's got something sticking out of it. One for the scrubbing brush, I think. This was another strong signal, and another piece of scrap, this time a round piece of lead. It was too big to get excited about. Now, what's that? off the signal, let's find out. Oh yeah. Um pass. Now I've studied old maps of the area and none of them indicate there was ever a building here. So I'm gonna have a look around here just in case, see if I can find any clues as to what this was used for. Well, it's this very large, massive iron thing, and also this. Another very strong signal, so let's see what we've got here. Well, I've just uncovered that, and it does look interesting. Looks like a cap of something, but it's quite thick. Hmm. Nice green colour though.
Well, when I arrived here, it was cold. It's now absolutely freezing. My fingers are numb uh, and now it started to snow. So um, I don't know how long I'm going to be here for, but I'm going to keep at it. I was digging away happily and I found this and it has BMC on it. Unfortunately it's plastic so it's not really the thing I was looking for. That is. Oh, what do you think this could be? It's a... Oh. Let's see if we can dig it out. That's what, I'm, that's what I've been picking up. It's a leather something or other. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it feels like leather. Or it looks like leather, stitched leather, with metallic things at each end. That's a bit weird, isn't it? This was another strong signal, and it's a very heavy signal. Hmm. Another bit of industrial waste, but wow, what a weight. So it must be lead. That is heavy. I don't know what that was. Okay, what is this? Another one of these mystery things. Can you see it? I can only just. Another one of these things. Right, I think I've found a hot spot of these things. Here's another two. There's one. And a second one. Why are there so many of these things all in the one area? Well, what do you know? Another one. Yep, you've guessed it. It's another one. Well, this made a nice change from finding these mad copper things. I found this, which seems to be a cap of some sort. Uh, one for the scrubbing brush tonight. I have actually tried to give it a bit of a wash just to remove the mud and I still can't identify it. Well, it looks as if we're back to collecting these things again. That's another one for the collection. The novelty of finding these things is starting to wear off now, so I think I might move to another area. Just a quick update on one of these copper thingamajigs. I've got a feeling that when I featured one of these in an earlier video last year, a viewer actually identified it as something to do with welding, and that might be what these are. As to why I found so many in the one place, who knows. A small mystery brass object. some sort of small electric motor. Well, I think I'll call it a day. My fingers feel as if I'm getting frostbite. Today isn't getting any warmer, that's for sure. And my tooth is starting to get a bit sore, so I think it's time to head home. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I thought maybe there would have been more personal items, but it's been nothing but industrial waste. Oh well, you win some and you lose some. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.